Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the Lightforge Drain Eye. Um, now, to do this, you do need to be uh, 110, you need to have the achievement you are now prepared, which is completing all of the quests for the Argus campaign, and you need to be exalted with the Army of the Light. If you have all those things and you log into a 110 Alliance, you'll get a quest to go to Stormwind and go to the Embassy. Um, when you go to Stormwind, you'll notice uh, the question marks at the very, very northern tip, so you're just going to fly up there and there'll be a new building there. Uh, so you're just going to enter this new building and uh, you'll see the king there. So you can talk to the king and he's going to tell you to choose which one you want to do first because you only do one at first. So if you want to do Light Forge, which is the video is, you talk to Turlin, um, you can kind of see what they can do and uh, I'll kind of show you the different models here of the Light Forged. If you don't have them unlocked, obviously, if you're watching this, so you have Light Forged uh, male, Light Forged female, and you have their abilities. So, Light's Judgment deal mighty holy damage to an area. Light's Reckoning uh, upon death, you explode doing holy damage and healing. Uh, reduces holy damage taken and holy resistance. Forge of the Light, it's blacksmithing skill. And uh, Demon Bane's pretty cool. You get more experience when you kill demons. That's kind of cool. And then down here, it again shows you need the achievement, you are not prepared, and you need to be exalted with the Army of the Light. So, um, that's kind of interesting. Uh, so basically, after you're done with that, you can go ahead and talk to the king again, Anduin, and choose Lightforge Draenei and hit OK. Now you can turn this quest in to Anduin, and now you get a quest from Turlin. Turlin will tell you to follow him and go aboard the Vindicar with him. So he'll walk outside, and he's going to uh, call forth one of those nice little beacons from the Vindicar. And then you just click on it, and that should take you there. All right, I sped this up because it's a little bit of role playing here. So you talk to it, uh, the general there, or the commander, and you start this little scene here. Basically, these people want to become, you know, uh, light forged or whatever. And uh, this guy named Tapartos, he doesn't have a partner, and they're like, well, you can't go without a partner. You're gonna get the last person who tried that got destroyed. It got ripped to shreds or whatever. So he chooses you because you're just standing there. Um, I happen to be a drain eye, so it kind of made more sense, but no matter what you are, it chooses you. And then you're just going to follow him and go into this little portal. Now you're going to be in this little cave, and you're just going to follow to Partos uh, through this cave. Now basically you're going to be uh, confronting things in Tapartos' life, and now you're actually going to have to fight stuff. So you'll walk into this first house, house that's outside the cave, and you see like a little Tapartos, and everyone's making fun of him, they're calling him stupid, I think they call him fat. Kind of sad, I guess. And so, uh, you, now at this point is where you might have to fight things. Tapartos has a pretty small aggro range. I actually pull a, a toad over here that I didn't need to pull. But uh, he, he should only pull maybe two things, on maybe three things actually, on your way to where you're going. But you will have to start fighting things from this point forward, basically between every little step. Um, you'll walk across this little bridge thing. You see again, little kid Tapartos. He's playing with animals. He's like very friendly, apparently. But he hates snakes, and he hates. You find out why he hates snakes, and it's because a snake comes and scares all his little friends away, and then you have to kill the snake. So this is again pretty easy stuff. I do have a lot of gear, so like let's say you're a horde and you just have a 110 alliance to unlock this or something, um, it might take you a little bit longer to kill the stuff, but nothing is that hard, um, especially if you have cooldowns and defensive abilities. I mean, there's there should be nothing in this that's going to hurt you. So as you follow him, you'll eventually get to this cave. And you see like a little Tapartos like hiding in here. Now there's like this mana crystal that you'll find in Suramar here. And you just go ahead and click on that and a uh, earth elemental pops out of it. Furious. Each thing's like titled a different kind of emotion or feeling or whatever. So the next thing's called shadows. So when you get outside the cave you'll see fear and doubt and worry and things like that. They're like the little bog monsters. He goes and hides back in his cave. You just need to kill seven of these things. You can find them pretty much anywhere. Um, in the area marked on your mini map, there's tons of them. So you're just going to kill all of the, or kill seven of them. And uh, I will say, if you want to kill the ones on the road, that might be more smart because you are eventually going to have to walk down that road. So you, uh, you, you can probably see Tapartos going on the left side of the screen there. He comes out of the cave when you, as soon as you're done. He's just going to walk along the road. And again, you're just going to have to kill stuff along the way um, until you get to the next des destination. So the next destination is this little cave right here, and you again you go down with the Partos, and this time there's a uh, 
big uh, thing guarding a chest there, I guess. Tear. And you're going, I, I popped a cooldown again. This doesn't have too much health. I saw that it was an elite. Thought maybe it'd be a little bit harder. Actually, I thought maybe it'd be the end of it, but it's not. Um, the next thing's called possibilities. You're going to see him open this chest, and there's a bunch of gold and stuff in it. It's pretty cool. And Tapartos is in it. I didn't even see that part before. Um, so now we're going to head to the next little area. Uh, again, there'll be some trash to kill along the way. Uh, when you get to this part, these uh, big uh, plant monsters or whatever will attack you. Uh, I did want to show you specifically uh, something for these plant monsters right here. So you see you getting dragged by a little thing there. Uh, you make, gotta make sure you kill that. I don't know what happens if it gets you all the way there, but I imagine it's not good. Um, so make sure you kill those things if you can. Obviously if you're melee, there's not much you can do about it, so uh, hopefully it doesn't kill you or anything. So you'll get to this part and you'll see him like being sacrificed or something. And all you have to do with this part is just walk up and right click on him. And now you'll get the next part, which is Descent. Once again, we're following Tepartos in this cave. Do not jump down. Just follow him along the outside here. And there you go. I don't even know if you can fall down, but just in case, don't fall down. Uh, so you'll find different aspects of Tepartos in this cave. So the first one's Kind. It's just right there at the start. And then you'll come in. Luckily, these are marked on your mini-map, once again. And if you follow Tepartos, you know, that'll be an easy way to do it. So if you go left at the very bottom, you'll see the next uh, version of Tepartos, which is Brave. So he's kind, brave, strong, boastful, frightened, and inadequate. So uh, as we get down further into the cave, we'll see the next one, Strong. As you kill these little evil minion things here. Apparently he's holding some cave wall or something there. All right, so we'll get the next one, and we're just, we're just following Tepartos at this point. Uh, everywhere he goes, it's it's fairly straightforward. You shouldn't really be able to get lost because um, it's, it's there's not anywhere really, anywhere really else to go. So, so this last part here, we're gonna follow uh, Tepartos into here, and this is like Tepartos if he would have turned evil, I guess. Um, and you have to kill this guy. This will be the last thing you have to fight. Um, I, I, again, I don't know, I kill him very fast, so I don't know exactly what all he can do, but, uh, just don't stand in things, I suppose. <laughs> um, when you give him to 1%, he's just going to do a little bit of role-playing first, so you're not going to actually kill him. He says, yes, give in to Bartos, embrace true power. And then the evil to Bartos gets scary, he says, enough, the light has always been with Tepartos, he will never abandon the light. And then all you have to do is click on this little beacon here. And that'll take you back to the Vindicar with the Partos. You talk to the commander, turn that in. Now there's going to be a, a quest from Turlin. All right. Now you need to go back to King Anduin Rin, and you get the mount for that and the unlock. To do this, you need to go, well, you don't need to, but you can go to um, the portal that would normally take you to Dalaran. will take you to Stormwind for this, right where you need to go, as you can see, is Stormwind. And then you're here, you're back, you turn it in. That's all you have to do for this. You just turn it in, you get the mount and everything else. So if you have any questions, comment below. Other than that, everybody have a good one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Thumbs up and sub as always. Also comment below, share the videos, appreciate it so much. You can also check me out at Twitter at WowGamingInc and uh, at Twitch with the tag name Kneecapkilla. So uh, everyone have a good one and see you again soon.